Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some really, really quick and simple autumnal cozy meals for you. They're going to be affordable, they're going to be easy and they're going to be quick to do. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I've got absolutely tons of other meal planning and meal ideas video over on this channel. I'll leave them linked in the description bar for you. If you are new here, I upload three times a week. I'm Lara and I'm a mum of two little boys and I love sharing lots of budget friendly ideas and advice for you over on my channel. So I'd love to have you here if you want to subscribe to my channel but let's get into the video I'm going to do a lovely cozy warming sausage bake today and hopefully the boys are going to really love it because it's kind of like all the things they like in one thing so hopefully they will if you do enjoy this video do share it or give it a like it really helps me out anyway let's stop jabbling on is that even a word rambling on let's get on with the first meal okay so the main ingredients are going to be sausages I do tend to buy the best ones just so they have the most amount of pork in them um, and then I'm going to have some a mixture so some small tomatoes and a few a couple of larger ones i'm going to chuck in a bit of pepper some onion haven't decided yet on the carrots and also some cannelloni beans i'll also i might leave this for tomorrow's meal actually i've got some garlic so i'll probably just use maybe four cloves of garlic out of there and then i'm going to chop up some potatoes as well and it is the simplest thing you literally chop everything up and then you chuck it into a tin and i'm going to use this in the oven it'll take about 45 minutes on about 200 and the whole t tray will be full up and then i'll also maybe dollop a little bit of pesto in there as well so let's get chopping and then shove it in the oven you can totally make this with chicken i was going to do this with chicken but i've actually got the sausages out of the freezer so i need to use them bit of a fail on my part you can use chicken and actually it would go really nicely because uh, I think it would actually probably go better but I have got to go with what I've got I brown off the sausages and then I'm just going to chuck them into the slow cooker and it can just bubble away for the afternoon probably around four hours on a high or six hours on a medium setting and I just love a hot pot dinner I think we call them a crock pot over in the, uh, the states and um hot pot here what else do we call it a slow cooker that's the badger i've actually done a whole video on slow cooker meals so if you want to watch that i'll link it down there for you so i've chopped up four potatoes and quite a few uh, of the tomatoes also the bigger tomatoes were going a little bit soft so it's great to put them in something like this so just in there and then i'll save those over for breakfast and then i've just chopped up some onion but i've done it quite big so the boys can pick it out if they don't want it so i'm going to put all of this in and a drop of water probably hear it bubbling away oh it looks so delicious i put a little bit of olive oil and water in there as well and i'm just gonna do some broccoli and peas to have it with so there we go all dished up it looks so good if i would say one criticism to myself is i would have maybe had to put a little bit more tomato uh, a bit more water in just to make it a little bit more liquidy and moist I would say it. But yeah we're all good to go while you're watching this video don't forget to give it a like if you're liking it it's got really sunny all of a sudden and now really dark again uh, so yeah let's get into the second meal I'm always looking so bedraggled by this point in the day so for tonight's meal it's fish tacos which I've shared on my menu plan quite a few times and you guys seem to really really love the idea of it so easy to make really affordable the children love it too but we sometimes mix it up with fish fingers so that means that they will likely eat it a bit more because sometimes they don't like the taste of the battered fish but you could definitely try yours on it so yeah let me show you it it's just like one of my favorite meals and so affordable so you can really put any veggie you like with it but I have got some red pepper and some onion and I'm just gonna um, roast those I'm gonna do this raw and then I'm just gonna chop this up you don't have to have that but I love it I'm just gonna roast this off these are the basa fillets I use they're really really affordable for fish and they are in the freezer so they're just always there when I want to make this dish so I've just chop those up bite size and I'm going to pop them in here which is some soy sauce I use a gluten free one but any soy sauce is fine and then you're going to coat them so 
So I've got some very well roasted onions. I've got some roasted peppers, some avocado, coriander, a little bit of chili, and then my lettuce, which I've put with white wine vinegar and mayonnaise. And then basically you're just gonna serve them up on some warmed tortillas with the, uh, the bassa. And it's literally like the easiest, really affordable, most delicious meal. I love it. And there you have it. It's so delicious and so affordable and easy to make. So I have chopped up some courgette really small. I've just fried that off in some oil. And I've got some sweet potato in there. I've just steamed it. So I'm gonna add that in. And then I've got some rice boiling. And then in here, I've just whisked up some breadcrumbs and put them on a tray with some salt and pepper and some mixed herbs and some olive oil. I've added in the rice to it. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of white wine in. I've just popped in some vegan cheese, which is obviously lactose free. Just chuck the cheese in for a bit of extra pizzazz, make it a bit more creamy. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it on top and put it on the side. Okay. And this is what it looks like. I've got some rocket on the side, and it's my risotto made with rice, <laughs> and some lemon to put on the top. And it actually looks really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this. So tonight I'm gonna to be making my fish cakes, which I just think are the simplest thing in the world to make. You can make them with any kind of fish that you like and you can either cook the fish like I've done and then flake it or just have it raw and then cook it for a bit longer. They're so affordable, so easy and super quick to make. So for my fish cakes, I've got some salmon. I've got the tops, the green bits of some spring onion. I've grated up a carrot and I'm just putting some potatoes in to boil. And then basically I'm gonna flake it all up together and make some patties with some seasoning and then fry them off, really easy. Just to mix all that up, I've also put some chilli and some ginger in there and I'm gonna mix them up with the patties and then fry them off. These little babies are just gonna be frying away. They don't need long because they're cooked already. Uh, the carrot isn't, but I like the kind of different texture. So I'm just gonna fry those off for maybe a couple of minutes on each side, see how they go and then um, serve them with some salad. All done. I've just done it with a side of the rocket I got and the tomatoes. And um, yeah, they look really good. So there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed those meal ideas. I would love to do more like this if you want to see it. So just let me know in the comments or give this video a like and I will know that you want to see more. Happy autumn. Let's get cozy. Let's get a blanket. Let's get some candles on, my friends. Autumn is upon us and I cannot be more happy. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.